last night, Phil Spencer had to wake up because a new Xbox was leaked and then officially confirmed. But before we can get into that, i got to remind you of our two giveaways we have going on this month. The first giveaway is for a Switch Lite, and then two second place winners get two games of choice for Nintendo Switch. Now, to win, or to enter I should say, all you need to do is go down to the description. There's a whole list of things you can do to enter, from subscribing to the channel, following on Twitter, following Discord, liking the video, commenting, all that jazz. Uh, also, if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1, you get 15 entries into this giveaway, also into our other giveaway we have going on, and into every giveaway moving forward. Uh, the second giveaway is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. There's a gleam.io link down in the description to enter for that and yeah um remember to you know, check out patreon as well if you would like to be entered with additional entries all right let's talk about it we're talking about the xbox series s it has been officially unveiled with a price point at that now this originally leaked out on twitter and youtube and all this yesterday from some industry insiders uh there was a youtube video put out about it by somebody and uh yeah it looks interesting that's to say the least now there's actually a uh, moving image out there i'll try to get working in the video here to show you guys what this looks like in comparison to xbox series x because it looks like it like take it's like a piece of promotional material it takes the xbox series s and sticks it inside of an xbox series x it looks like it's about half the size now what's obviously the most bold thing about the design is the black grill now if you look closely at it it almost looks like it's taken from like the top of the xbox series x but put on the side it's clearly like an intake or an outtake or something for air uh yeah it's it's pretty crazy and interesting they did this my first reaction when i saw it was why is microsoft releasing a portable speaker because <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a speaker doesn't it like a giant speaker grill and the rest of it's you know all the audio equipment to go along with it the bluetooth and all that jazz that's what it looked like to me but uh that's not what it is this is the xbox series s and the price point is at 299 and this has led to a ton of speculation about what the price point is going to be for the xbox series x because this is the cheaper system right it's being advertised as a cheaper system you know xbox confirmed this is real this is legit it's 299 um we now know this before we know the price of the Xbox Series X, which was unveiled last year. So what does that mean for the price? Are we looking at $599? Are we looking at $499? The presumptive price seems to be $499 for the Series X, $399 for this. But who knows? Maybe it's only $100 more for the Series X. We don't really know. Maybe it's $300. We don't know the price of the Series X. We still don't know. And this doesn't really get us any closer. It just guarantees it's not going to be a $399 or $299 console, which I think we all knew Xbox Series X was not going to touch $299. Uh, but this does put a little pressure on Sony because this is, and then you know Microsoft's advertising it right in the ad, next gen performance, you know, for a cheap price. Uh, and we have we have to see the actual performance. And Microsoft is promising we're going to learn more about this system soon. So we need to see how this works. Obviously, X Cloud will be a big thing. But beyond that, it could play games natively. We assume for 300 bucks, it better be able to. Uh, and that's by the way, that's the same price as the Nintendo Switch. Like right now, this switch right here, three hundred dollars, red box switch. That's the same price as this. So you know, some people are wondering, does this put pressure on Nintendo? Now, I don't think it does. Outside of the recent announcement of a new Hyrule Warriors game, if you didn't see that, check up here. Uh, we'll we'll link to that video. I I gotta say that I honestly just am, I'm a little baffled uh, with this one. I'm not sure uh what to think about it because i don't actually want this system i it, it does not appeal to me so I'm, I'm actually curious who does this system appeal to does it appeal to you are you someone that's like hey look i can't afford 500 600 bucks but i can drop 300 dollars for a next gen that performs around the level of an xbox one x like why not uh i don't know I, i'm not sure who this who this appeals to you guys have to let me know obviously we have to see what it does the thing is microsoft's in a weird place because we have yet to see them prove that even though they have the on paper more powerful system than a PlayStation 5, we have not seen a single game that shows that power. So it feels weird to have this Xbox Series S reveal, to have the $300 price point come out. And granted, Microsoft didn't want it revealed right now. It leaked, and then Phil Spencer was given a call in the middle of the night, and he's like, yeah, yeah, send the tweet live. It's real. Uh, so that happened, and I'm sure Phil, Phil Spencer's a little bit uh, perturbed that he had to do that in the middle of the night because that's clearly not how 
how they, they didn't want this like as a Twitter announcement. That is not what Microsoft wanted for this. They were clearly going to announce it at the next Xbox event, whenever that was. Rumored to be happening sometime next week or maybe even later this week for all we know. I just, I just know that this is a, a device that does not appeal to me. And I want to know who it actually does appeal to. Uh, maybe I'll end up owning one one day. Maybe it ends up being my go-to Xbox of this generation. Uh, clearly, it's meant for 1080p TVs. You're not looking at 4K. I think we've always known that. Uh, and whereas, the obviously, the Xbox Series X is targeting 4K 60 FPS on TVs. This is targeting 1080p 60. Uh, so... I don't know. I mean, it's at the, the it, it's it's rumored to be four teraflops. We'll we'll see if the rumors are true. But I'm just you know I'm kind of at a loss for words because I don't know what this system is for, who it's for. I'm not I'm not too keen on the speaker design. Um, but you know what? Maybe you're the kind of consumer it is for. Uh, heck, maybe pre-orders are even up for this thing already. This lets me now have a price. I'll have to double check. If there are pre-orders up, I'll put a link down in the description if there is, or at least put a link down to the Amazon page. Uh, but yeah, I just. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lost. Um, we knew this was coming. That's the thing. Like We already knew the Xbox Series S was one of the worst kept secrets. Kind of like Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Kind of the worst kept secrets in the industry this year. But I'm kind of left underwhelmed because I just... It, it, it's exactly what they told us it would be. Or what all the rumors said it would be. And I wasn't excited about those rumors. So I don't know. I'm Series X all the way. Um, but it might be easier to get your hands on this this holiday. Also, uh, a big thing to come out with this news is that uh, it's going to be part of Xbox All Access. For those who don't know what Xbox All Access is, it's like a uh, kind of a payment plan program uh, that they have to to get these systems. Uh, thirty five dollars a month for the Xbox Series X is the rumored price. Twenty five dollars a month for the Series S, and I think you're locked in for like a year on that price. I, I have to double check. Now that price does include uh, Xbox Live. It also includes. Um, Xbox Game Pass as well, uh, so that's included in that price. So even though you end up paying more for the system, uh, you you also get the additional value of those other things. So it ends up, ends up equaling just a little bit extra profit for Microsoft versus normal. It's a financing option, and apparently Microsoft is going to be pushing it super hardcore at retailers to be like, hey, finance this system through whatever. Uh, I don't think my credit rating, unfortunately, is going to be able to finance anything, but that's okay. I'd rather pay it all off at once, anyways, and own the system. You do get you get a chance to own the system at the end of the at the end of that period too, or you could trade it in. Uh, one thing they're doing right now with Xbox One X's and Xbox uh, Ones that that people did the financing on is you could trade them in towards um, getting the next box. So. Uh, that's something kind of cool. It's kind of something different, you know, just like Game Pass. Microsoft's just doing things differently to make things more affordable for everyone. So they're adopting the phone model to make it more affordable. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of a thing that, that came out today, too. Even though we've known they were going to do this for a while, we now have some idea on the pricing for it. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I'll be sure to uh, check out my video from earlier today. Uh, enter those giveaways. And gosh darn it, I, I still have, like, three other videos that I might pump out today. It's Dude, we have a busy, busy day today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.